All right, here we're going to do another one. And I think the two functions I will use are this one and this one. So my g of x is going to be equal to 79x. And my h of x is equal to 198 over uh, 1 plus 7.68 e to the minus 0 0.85x plus 15. Okay. Now, I can easily take g prime of x. So I'll put that over here. g prime of x equals 79. Now, this one, uh, we're going to have some issues because we're going to have one inside function here. We're going to have another inside function here. And then we're going to have our overall outside uh, total kind of function. Okay, So let's go ahead and work on this. So if we do this, maybe we can do it down below. And then over here, we can write the actual what our uh, h prime of x is. And it's going to be long. So maybe I'll start it over here, I bet, because we're going to have a lot of stuff here. So um, what letters to use to not get confused? I don't know. Let's, let's start with uh, because this is that. Maybe we'll start with, I don't know a of x and then we'll have b of a and then let's call that then h of b okay and so now if i can remember all that as i'm mark marking my way down that first one is going to be the negative 0 0.8585 uh, x okay now, after I've replaced that, B then is the next part. It's 1 plus 7.68 E to the A. Okay. Now, after I've replaced that and that, now I have 198 over, and that's over uh, B plus 15. Okay. Now I can take the derivative of those. So a prime of x is equal to a negative 0 0.85. b prime of a is equal to, now I'm going to have uh, 7.68. And then it's just going to be e to the a. And then h prime of b is equal to, now uh, we're going to bring that up. So it's really going to be 198b to the negative 1 plus 15. And so that'll give me a negative 198b to the negative 2. Or I can put b to the positive 2 here. And then that goes away. Okay. Now, when I go ahead and write this, it's going to be a product of those three things, basically. And we'll start down here. So we're going to have. Uh, negative 198 over, and now have uh, the b squared. And the b squared is going to be, it looks like, uh, 1 plus 7.68 e to the a, which is a negative 0 0.85x. And that was squared. OK. Now I'm taking that times the 7.68e to the a. So then that's times 7.68e to the a, which was negative 0.85x. And then I'm taking that times the negative 0.85. Okay. And so now, oh uh, well, wait, 0 0.85. Okay. So that's that's what we have. Now, we could simplify and multiply this times this times this. Um, but, uh, you know, it's, it's one of those things. It, you, you can do it sometimes. Then if you do it and then you don't know where you got that number, then you could be lost. But, you know, negative 198 times 7.68 times a negative 0.85, that gives us 1,292.544. So is that number better than, than the three there? Uh, I'm not sure if it is or not. So I'm going to leave it as, as this. So now I have f prime of x is going to be equal to, well, it's going to be my g prime. So it's going to be 79 times this value here. And so I'm just going to write it as 198 over 1 plus 7.68 e to the minus 0.85x plus 
15, okay. And then plus, now I have 79x times, and it's times this whole mess, minus 198, and then times 7.68, e to the negative 0.85x times negative 0.85, all over one plus 7.68 e to the negative 0 0.85 x squared in parentheses, and then that would be my derivative of this here. Okay, so quite a mess. Again, we could simplify some multiplying things together, and we could take 79 times the 198 times the 7.68 times the 0.85 actually, because we have that 79 out in front as well. But again, you know, that's going to make it even bigger. So that's going to take it times 79. So that'll give us uh, 102,110.976. So, you know, it's it's kind of up to you if that's that's what you want to do or not. But I'm going to leave it as that. All right, what about this one? Um, so now it looks like we have uh, 430 times that. So what I would suggest, when you have something like the 0.62 to the x times something, keep that together, okay? So that's the exponential times of uh, just a constant. So I would keep that together. And then that's gonna be our other part, okay? Now I'm going to rewrite that as uh, the, 430 times 0 0.62 to the x times 6.42 plus 3.3 .3 times 1.46 to the x to the negative 1. That way I can see it a little clearer. I have 1, 2. Now, could we use a quotient rule in this one? Yeah, we could use a quotient rule. Would it be any easier? Eh, maybe, maybe not. But uh, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go ahead and use the product rule because I can rewrite it as a product very easily, and then I don't have to remember what that quotient rule was. And we'll do one with the quotient rule here in a little bit. All right, so what do we got to do? Well, we have to write our g of x is equal to 430 times 0 0.62 to the x, and then our h of x is equal to the 6.42 plus 3.3 .3 times 1.46 to the x and then in parentheses and then to the negative one, okay? Now, I can pretty quickly get my g prime of x because it's gonna be the constant times, now I'm gonna take the ln of 0 0.62 times and then 0 0.62 to the x. And so that's going to be that derivative. Now, what about the next one? Okay, well, the next one, I think I'm going to have to do uh, the inside and outside functions. So if we go and I'll call this one, and then I'll say, okay, we're doing one here. Let's let g of x equal 6.42 plus 3.3 .3 times 1.46 to the x. And so that's going to be the inside function. And then my outside function is, oh, oops, that's f of g, not h of x. It's going to be uh, the g to the negative 1, OK? Now I can take those derivatives, again, pretty simply. Uh, this is g prime of x is equal to, and this is going to match basically what that is with just different numbers. It's going to be 3.3 .3 times ln of 1.46 times 1.46 to the x. And again, that's just all using the, if we have a b to the x, that gives us ln of b times b to the x for the derivative, okay? Now here, f prime of g is just gonna be a negative one g to the negative two. And so that will then give me h prime. And I don't know how much room I'm going to need, so I'm going to write it as far over here as possible. So I'm going to have basically this times this. And so um, that will give me uh, negative 1 times x. I'm going to have a negative here. And this is going to be in the denominator. So I'm going to get a negative 3.3 ln of 1.46 times 1.46 to the x all over 
g squared. And g was 6.42 plus 3.3, 1.46 to the x squared. Okay, so that should give me my h prime. Now I've got g prime, h prime, g, and x. And so that means I can find f prime. All right, so that's going to give me this. So that's going to be 430 times ln is 0 0.62 times 0 0.62 to the x times this here thing. Well, that's just in the denominator. So I'm just going to say, well, that's over 6.42 plus 3.3 times 1.46 to the x. And that will be the first piece. Then I'll say plus. Now I'm going to take this here times this here. And so that'll give me uh, 430 uh, times 0 0.62 to the x times. And now I'm going to have a negative 3.3 .3 times ln of 1.46 times 1.46 to the x. And then I'll have the in parenthesis. And then I have all that in the denominator. And that's going to be a 6.42 plus 3.3 .3 times 1.46 to the x, the quantity squared. Okay. And so that would be where I would leave it. Now, could we go any further? Yeah, we could take 430 times negative 3.3 .3 and, and get, you know, one piece and make it a little bit simpler. But, you know, taking those two numbers and, and getting that, you know, I don't know if it really would help. And don't forget, this is a negative here. It's a positive here. So we could also say, well, this is going to be uh, a negative, And then this becomes a positive in here. So that's another thing we could do as well. But I'm just going to leave it with that. And that would be my final answer. All right, so let's stop there.